Hello, welcome to part two of the WordPress blog introduction videos. So in the first part we looked at the um, front end of a blog and what kind of what it looks like to the, your visitors. Now we're going to be looking into the behind the scenes. So when you're on a blog, usually you're going to have a little bit of an administrative area where it allows you to log in. So right now I'm logged in already and what that does is it allows me to have this dashboard along the top here which uh, is how I kind of manage this so if I click onto the dashboard link along the top it takes me into the behind the scenes part of the blog and so in here you can see we've got a whole bunch of links of things that we can do in order to manage the blog on the left hand side here we've got a couple of uh, kind of summary pieces of information on this main page right here so you can see how many posts we've put how many pages are there how many categories and tags what theme we're using how many comments are there which ones we've approved and spam and if there's any comments that are pending that we need to approve if we just want to do a quick publishing post we can do a quick press right here and publish it and that'll go straight to the front page we can see the statistics of how many people are visiting our site and so you can see that on February 8th we had 111 people visit this blog so that you know that's a really great way to see like you know what are people coming to visit and you can also see which posts that they're more the, the more popular ones so which ones are they going to and what searches they're doing on your blog you can see which posts are the most active of the past day. So there's a lot of uh, good summary information in the dashboard here. And this is just the, the main page. But if we go along here, we can see that you know we can go to the site stats, the comments. But here in the posts area, this is where you will most likely spend a lot of your management time. And so this is where you would publish your your new blog post. So this is where you spend your time, um, you know, editing and 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 preparing your uh, your your post so here's one that I've started that I haven't published yet so this is called uh, this is your catchy title so I'm gonna edit this post you if you don't want to uh, to see this way you can also just go add new and it takes you to the same page here so this is basically where you work on your post so you've got your catchy title you uh, you put everything that you want in your post in here and you've got all the same kind of formatting that you would in Microsoft Word or Office or any of those kind of pages um, you know like word processing programs so you can bold and italics and change the color and underline and change the formatting and and often uh, if you want to Im insert media you can sort of add Add in different um, examples of different media, say YouTube videos or images or um, you know audio files, and you can add them from your computer and upload them to the site. Or if you've got a link to them elsewhere, or if you've already added them into your media library, it's really quite easy to add stuff into your blog. And again, this is a free blog provided by WordPress.com. If you're not ready to publish yet, yet, you can just save it as a draft and so that way it won't show up on your blog until you're ready to publish it so you can kind of work on it over a few days. Uh, you can add different categories to your post. So say this post is all about Google and online learning. So I would just add those, you know, those tags to it, those categories. And then also you can add tags down here and you can choose from the most used tags. So say this is also about cyberbullying and, um, and stuff. So you can go through and easily kind of add keywords to your, your blog posts about what it is about. So that helps your readers and your visitors uh, decide uh, what they want to what they want to read on your blog. Um, you can manage different links and different media from here. Um, pages, we're going to leave this page. Pages are a place where you can go and you can um, add different uh, permanent categories. So we had links along the top of the, the buzz page and this is where you can add these pages and they're, they're kind of static pages that will always be there and will always have the same stuff. So we have an about page, we've got a cyberbullying page, we've got a links resources page, a tips, tricks, and a videos and presentations page. So if I wanted to edit these static pages, I could go right into here and to do that. And if you want to add a new section to your website, you can do that by just adding a new page here. Here's where you can manage your comments. So like the comments that people are making on your different posts and, and you can approve them or not approve them if they're spam or they're you know just not appropriate. Um, but it's a very easy way to go, a very easy place to manage all your, your comments and your discussions that are happening. Uh, you can add in polls and ratings and, and stuff. And if you want to play around with the appearance of your blog, this is what you usually do when you first set it up. So in your appearance area here, this is where you could change to different themes, and there's a lot of different themes available. Um, I'm using the Dig 3 column theme that's been designed by somebody, so I can custom customize it, add in a different background image if I want, add in a different header image if I want. 
you can browse themes and you can see like you know the most popular one or the newest one so you've got an adventure journal and it gives you a little kind of like a showcase of what they look like some of these cost money in order to buy but a lot of them are free so you don't have to buy money in order to have a, a nice looking wordpress theme as part of your blog so that's a, a pretty easy place to browse through and if you like one you can just activate it or you can preview it so it's a it's kind of a quick and easy way to click through and, and, and look at that kind of stuff um, as I mentioned on the front page there's a lot of different widgets that you can add to your theme and so what you can do here is you can just drag and drop your different widgets over onto your areas of your blog like your sidebar one your sidebar two so these are widgets that I've added categories tag cloud follow blog top posts and pages but say I wanted to add authors so you can just drag it over and drop it in there and then that would become part of the blog and so now you can customize it and you can go all through there. I'm not going to do that one just right yet. I'm going to actually um, remove this one and take it back over here. You can go through and you've got a calendar category. So there's a lot of different pre-made widgets that you can add in. Flickr, um, a good reads. Um, so there's a lot of options here. It's very customizable. And, uh, and so that's a really powerful place to add a lot of interactivity on in your blog is through these widgets. And then you've got menus and background and header and custom design and iPad. So this is where you can kind of customize the look of your WordPress blog. And it's all very easy to navigate and it's kind of click and point and, and stuff like that. And then finally, just to wrap up, we've got a user. So if you've got multiple authors that are publishing to the same blog, you can you can add new users into this so they have their own username and password to log in and they have their own personal settings and they publish under their own name so that can be a, a great way to do a shared blog um, under tools you can you know import and export stuff and you can kind of do some of the, the heavy lifting in the back um, you know there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff that you can do here but that's a bit more advanced and then you've got your settings so this is where you can go in and you can change your password and you can change your name of your blog and the tagline and the email address and your time and date and, and all that kind of stuff so um, definitely it's it's not as scary as it needs to be you should uh, play with it have fun with it um, you're not going to break it it's free um, at wordpress.com um, and, and it's a great tool and a great opportunity for no matter what you want to blog with so um, definitely uh, take a chance play around with it and uh, sign up and I hope you've uh, learned a little bit about the back end of a WordPress blog today